Uh, okay, uh, welcome. We're actually doing pretty good uh, right now. <laughs> we're in 31st place. Uh, I don't imagine we'll stay here very long, but um, we're actually winning, I think. So we're at 85 to their 40, and they have, but they still have like half their tokens, so eh, we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. We, we, you know, I, I think it's still a toss up. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, let's take a look at how we're doing. Again, no one's attacking us. I hope that's a good thing. Um, let's see, Shogunate. Is this uh? There's no way this is that shotgun shogun's. Um, uh, guild. Cubes. SS Shogun. Is that him? I don't actually know what his in-game username is. It's just kind of funny. Um, I mean, this might be him. It looks kind of interesting. <laughs> I actually want to just... Oh, he's already been taken down. I guess everybody else had the same idea of like, oh, let's go take down the YouTuber. Um, this team down here looks kind of weird. Uh, you're really heavily discouraging AOE attacks here, but I don't think anybody was going to bring it, like, because of him or because of her, no one was going to bring in AOE attacks anyway, right? So you're kind of double dipping in the, like, oh, we have to avoid AOE attacks. Um, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's kind of look at, see, look and see what we can do here. Um... Okay, so let's gonna. I'm gonna hit this tower here. Alright, so this key say could be some trouble for us. Hmm. I like bringing. What's her name? Where is she? SSB down to this one here. This looks really good. Uh, healing, and then I need who else has immunity? I don't actually know who else has immunity. Oh, actually, what's his name? Has immunity. Um, hmm, uh, up here. Let's bring you Where is Ruel? I don't know why I'm going down here. Ruel and why don't we bring you down here? This looks fine, right? This looks actually pretty busted. Um, these are all single targets, so as long as I keep her healthy, they'll just beat into her, him. She'll do her thing, but I could survive that, and hopefully I can survive that. Um, but, you know, who knows what these Kiseis running around are kind of scary these days. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that doesn't look too bad. Let's just get in there. Um, <laughs> as always, let's just get in there. Uh, let's see... So you are doing this to him. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we're going to get pushed back, but we're also going to get pushed forward to some degree here. Okay. So. This is kind of interesting. I am going to burn this on... No one, actually. Let's just hit you with this. Okay, so she is going to S3 G Perg, which is fine. Because if he dies, I can revive him. The, the problem is, I, I can cleanse those buffs. And he survived. Crazy. Problem is, I can cleanse those buffs and then, like, just heal him. But then she'll be the target. And I don't know how much effectiveness she has. And so she might hit her. 
and then just reset my uh, S3 cooldown, and then basically I'm in trouble. Um, this is probably going to be... I have to focus on her. Come on, please stun her. Oh, okay, she resisted. She's pretty annoying. So this is what is going to... Ooh, I forgot about that. Very cool. So she's provoked for no reason. <laughs> Oof. That is a lot of damage. Uh, so let's bring you back. Uh, unfortunately, now Ruel is going to be the target, but... Well, really, there is no but there. It's just <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, let's do this. Hopefully she's decently tanky so I can start... Um, I can just heal her with her S. That is a lot of damage. Oof. I think she dead. She might be dead. That was dumb. Uh, so now I need to be really like I need to do something about this. This is not good. Oh, this is actually pretty good too because like her, she's triggering her to come uh, uh, attack and then or her to attack and she's doing a lot of damage or she's doing. Um, combat CR pushing so either way it's like win-win kind of okay let's see if hopefully I stun somebody with this okay cool I stunned like the main person I needed to stun um cool oh come on uh oh, this is bad. Ooh, that's even worse. Yep, nope, that's excessively bad. Mm -mm. And of course, this 10A is dead. Okay, so this went about as uh, horribly as it could have gone. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to leave. Uh, she's got one shot with that. So, that went about as bad as it could have gone. Um, G Per couldn't survive the damage output, so. Um, the targeting went on to Ruel and she just couldn't take it. Um, what could I have done there? Probably Crow might have been a better answer, and I think, yeah, ultimately Crow would have been a better answer. Um, he would have just soaked up a bunch of damage and then, uh, S3'd somebody. Um, but yeah, so that's something to consider for next time. Uh, when... Because I feel like that team, not necessarily that team, but some variant of that team is going to come up a lot with, um, what's her name? with Kisei, just because Kisei is actually really strong. Um, but yeah, that's that. Let's just heal everybody. The small heal. So here comes this AoE, which is... I actually did quite a bit of damage, not gonna lie. Okay, so now, hopefully we get the... the... Well, actually it doesn't really matter, because she can just do that. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. So this team, unfortunately the problem with this team is there's too many anti-AOE units in the game right now. Uh, and it's just, yeah, it's just not good. Yeah, I feel really dumb about that first game now. Um, there you go, this is, this is why he's so good. He's just an execute. Like anybody under like a third of their HP is just gonna die. Like a third, a, take 2400, right? A third of 2400 is 8000. You'll do 8000 when your uh, S3 is fully like uh, charged after three uses. Um, so there you go, like anybody under that. And that's like, you know, that's even worse for people who don't have that much HP. Like 24,000 isn't something that like regular uh, non tanky units reach. Let's see, who should I hit? Oh, look at that. That's a that's a that's a disgrace. Um, let's go see if we can help someone else here and get the uh, alley oop, as it were. I think I'm gonna hit those two. I'm gonna hit these two right here. Okay. So uh, that's also something I, that I even I'm finding even more interesting is I'm I'm, I'm noticing a lot more. Um, Flurries on defense these days, and it's because she's like kind of hard to deal with. 
like someone is getting defense broken you know who that is um and whoever gets defense broken is just not going to survive so you really have to kind of outspeed her which of course is really hard because people build like well i mean 250 is not the hardest thing but you know it is a level it is a sort of cap and uh I don't have any units that can deal with that. Down here, I'm liking him. And I'm gonna bring, this time I think g -perk is a good idea, maybe. Maybe Crowd's actually a better idea. And we need some healing, so I'm going to stick with um, a Momo here. Up here is where we're having the problem, right? So we've got two AoEs. But they're not going to be AoEing that much. I think uh, I'm gonna go Crow here. Let's do this. Okay, so uh, we kind of knew this was gonna happen, so there's that. Um, okay. This is perfectly fine. Let's see if she has effectiveness to do anything. No, she does not. So let's hit him with this, get this out of the way. Unfortunately, we, we lost the Lilius AoE. Uh, so that's a one turn we're, uh, we're missing there uh, that we could be getting. Um, we kind of have to burn this right now on her. Okay. Let's just kill, I'm gonna kill Arbor of Ildred. Um, I'm burning, I'm wasting like, I'm overcapping on, on focus, but that's fine. Um, as long as I kill him, because this oh why we didn't kill him by 400 HP. That's kind of ridiculous. So now he's gonna die. We're gonna get AoE again, which is now uh, duly upsetting. Uh, fortunately, we didn't get any Alexis proc, so that's um, just you know it's good to be thankful for that. Oh, she's got ran on. So that's very interesting. I'm actually going to leave um, him alive because his his cleaving will give me more um, SSB stacks so I can just start piling in more and more damage uh, like that and like this and like that. Uh, so there you go, free. Um, yeah, so not bad. Uh, th the other thing I forgot to mention, I, I feel... When you're looking at what's going on here with this team, like against that Kisei team, this wouldn't have worked. But let's say I, I couldn't cleanse that uh, defense break. If I had like her and Crow and then SSB and Crow and then SSB got defense broken, that damage sharing can kind of a lot of times mitigate what happens after that. Um, let's see. We want to, for some reason, this Cerise is very slow. That's kind of weird. Not entirely sure what's up with that. Let's get this on cooldown. Um, so the next time it'll be up, hopefully his HP will be around where we need it, and we get like you know a. Uh, we get some utility out of out of it now. Not to mention that ha that uh, barrier he has makes it easier for his. Um, Oh, actually, I just realized I probably should have healed with um, a Momo because now this is going to hit someone pretty hard. Oh, actually, just hit um, Crow, which is fine. I win anyway. This is a bad idea. I should just S1, but it's fine. Nice. Okay, and I get the counterattacks. So that's cool. Uh, no one's getting 
Oh, I forgot I have the, um, I don't have, what's it called on him? Oh, that's so bad. Let's heal these. I forgot I don't have, ah, uh, I don't have Ayelas on him. Um, that's bad. Uh, so basically, they're all gonna, or he's gonna hit him, and I get to counterattack again. Um, so they can't heal, so this damage is kind of permanent, so, which is good. Just hit you. Okay, perfect. So this crouch is gonna keep feeding us. And I finally got to take that debuff off me. Let's hit you. Because I don't want her stunning anybody. And let's just heal everybody. I didn't want to use that heal before because I don't want to cleanse the uh, buff off of uh, Zerato there. Man, this is a lot of damage he's doing. Oop. Oh, I didn't get the counter, but now I do. Oh, yeah, I can't. You're not allowed to counter <laughs> when she hits you, but that's all right. Oh, so there we go. Ooh, let's see what kind of... What does he have? He has 23k, uh, 23,000 max health. That's not too bad. Um, let's hit you with this. So yeah, that's hilarious. Um, I forgot that I didn't have... Um, Ayala's on him so he can't strip. Just hit him, see if she can knock him over. <laughs> there you go. I forgot what he's on. Was he on Ranon's memorandum? I forgot what this guy's artifact was. I don't think it was a portrait, and it didn't look like uh, Adamant Shield because I think it showed up for some reason. Like you could see it there. Oh, let's hit this one now. Oh, this bottom one looks like pure cancer. I mean, I guess I should go with this. There is a serious lack of tank um, down here. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Up here. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I think I'm just going to go him, right? Because she's there, so he's just going to keep feeding him. That looks fine. Um, that's, up there is fine. Down here, though, is a different story entirely. The, the One of the bigger things is, like, this, his speed. I probably can't compete with it. I'm not sure what it is, but I doubt I'll be able to, like, fight against that person. Um, yeah, I think I just need Krau's, uh, AO, um, Ad uh, Aureus. Let's go make sure that, um, he has an artifact that's worth having on him. Equipped. There's my Troublemaker Crows that finally six-starred and, uh, everything. Um, I, I feel like using him... Uh, so I'm gonna either pair him up with a really fast Kisei and a high damage dealing Kisei and just kind of sacrifice all her uh, sort of have ability and just let his damage sharing effect um, handle that. Uh, actually, I think I want to take Ayala's. This will be fun. No one gives out uh, immunity and they're just kind of sitting there. Let's see what this does. Unfortunately, um, What's his name? Oh, here we go. Cool. So we all get immunity, but it's gonna get stripped by uh, that Alencia anyway. Okay. She got to heal someone. Her, right, that's fine. All crits. It's fine. This person is a uh, studious. They actually made sure to. Uh, to build a crit on her. <laughs> uh, let's do that. So let's waste 
I'm burning three, and she's I'm, she's losing three, right? Because, yeah, that's fine. I got two. I gained two bars off of that, but she gained one bar. Is what the point I was trying to make there. Okay. So Kraus turns coming up. Uh oh, this is bad. Okay, so we got the AOE, and then he's we're gonna AOE. Oh, we're not gonna AOE actually. And someone's gonna get healed. So that's what that is. This is kind of the problem with fighting against SSBs is that like, like especially with the Alencia strip, it's so hard because. Uh oh, oh, we didn't actually die from that. It's so hard because um. She just has so many debuffs like built into her kit. It's not even funny. What are we looking at here? Yeah, losing our immunity there, the fact that she stripped it off is like the worst thing that could have happened. I think anyway. Let's do this. I'm gonna heal him up and then I'm gonna revive uh, SSB if she dies. Or, well, you know, if, she, when, when she dies. Okay, so we're at least getting, um, immunity on uh, some of our characters here. Uh, so at this point she's going to die, I think, right? She should be dead from this. Oh, I guess not. This is one, but now she's dead, yep. Okay. This is the last one, which is pretty cool. Um, I, for those of you, who, you know, th these videos. When I make these videos, right, they're they're kind of like partially as examples of like, you know. Let's see. Let's see if I can kill you. Yeah, they're supposed to be like examples, right? Like, just hit you. I could use the uh, AOEs off of uh, off of uh, SSB, so we'll kill her first, or maybe not. I don't want to hit that barrier because it's a waste of uh, damage. Let's defy the odds. Follow me. Oh, I, I, uh, uh oh, that's bad. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's just kill you, I guess. Uh, these videos are kind of like. Like, like, example, I, I primarily uh, want them to serve as, like, examples, right? Like, um, you know, look at looking at this and you'll, you see, like, is Crow regular Crow, right? Is he worth summoning? Um, and, you know, you that's sort of for you to decide, right? Like, take what you see here. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, take what you see here, you know, this example. And if, if you look at, you know, these videos and you see me using Crow a lot or you feel like, oh, that, you know, I've run into similar situations and I've needed a crowd there, then, you know, take that for what you will and value crowd uh, any way you might want to. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that was just that, I mean, that's that, that's the point I wanted to make there was like, ugh. Was, there's certain, like some, for some, like, for, for, for units that haven't been out yet, right? Like, you know, Everlyn, uh, I think it's Everlyn anyway. But for units that haven't been out yet, like, it's fun to theorycraft and think about where, you know, what you would use them for, where they would go normally. Um, but, like, Krau is, a, is, an, is an example of a unit that's like, oh, he's already out, so should I pull for this unit that's been out for a while already? And, you know, like I said, the answer to that question is sort of up to yourself based on, you know, what you see here. Let's do that. We'll heal Krau. 23, that's not bad. Let's just hit you with this. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what uh, the thing I wanted to mention there was like, you know, pull based on like what you see people doing. If you see Kral in a lot of videos, then you know, there's probably a reason why, like not only my videos, but I meant like, you know, just videos in general, right? Okay. 
I guess thanks for that. Let's hit you, I guess. Um. She might actually hit um, him, Zerato. Uh, she might. She's probably gonna hit um, this guy here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, hopefully, he just doesn't die. Oh, okay, he's not gonna hit him. He's gonna hit him. Of course. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of healing <laughs> on accident there. Okay, so I, I didn't crit the one I did not want to crit, right? Because you want to kind of like not kill the um, the the Vildred yet, <laughs> and I he's the one I didn't crit, so it's hilarious. Yeah, let's just heal him because he's gonna take serious damage here. So more damage here. I'm immune to whatever he's throwing at me, which is kind of annoying. I don't actually know what that ability does. Uh, let's immune you because I think we're about to get um, S3'd by that Roman again. Yeah, so there we go. So hopefully we get to uh, silence him. Thank you, finally. Okay. Um, please tell me I'm. Please hit her. Yes! And apparently they're resisting the. Um, put the defense barrier up. Defense buff up. Unfortunately, um, I, I found it kind of irritating the the way they decided to like quote unquote fix. Don't die, thank you. Oh, now he's dead. Oh my god! Uh, I found it kind of irritating how they like decided to you know quote fix. Um, one of Zerato's problems was that like oh he kept uh. Oh, I, this is bad. I think I'm gonna lose. That's the last one, so I just let them die. If they die, yeah, it's over. Um, how could I fix that there? Um, I, it's probably just the Crow doesn't have enough HP to survive what was coming, getting thrown at him, and hmm. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Um, Montmorency has 150 effect resistance, uh, and that guy still hit her with the silence, and that's kind of what costed me as well um, but you know it is what it is not much we can do about it uh, so yeah that's fine um, I found it irritating that one of the ways to fix Serato was like oh instead of making it so that like he can trant like because the blind right that's the problem with fighting against Vildred is he has threes and Zerato's immune to the blind instead of like when it really should have just been that like Zerato's so unaffected by the blind, and he's unaffected by, like, you could give him a sleep or a or a, a a stun or something like that, right? And then just have him be immune to it, and then transfer the stun. But you know, I didn't want to do that. Now, do I think that would make him broken? Eh, not necessarily. Um, but he's already quite strong as it is. So, um, you know, for my, you know, for me, I'm just sort of complaining just to complain because I like I hate. I always hate that. Like I'm, I, I bring him in, and you know, people that have blind, it's like, oh yeah, basically waste of time. Uh, but I actually want to go see what Broman's S1 is. Uh, as you can see there, I only have two. I'm only the day's about to be over. Um, let's see, mage. He says he was immune to something. Oh, he, oh, he proc the stun when he hit me one time. I was like, what is he immuning? And he was like, oh, yeah, okay. 80%. Very interesting. And the S3. So, yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Broman here is actually pretty high tier. Um, this passive is, like, the most useless thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't, I mean, I'm not sure, like, 
who or what this is, why why this is here. So if you get them, please don't put anything into this. Um, it's such a waste of Mologora. It's, there's nothing here. Uh, mana fundamentals. Uh, this thing is dumb. Uh, it's only got 75% chance, but it doesn't really matter because 75 or wait, wait, is it 75? 65, yeah, 75. So it's only 75% chance of doing that. But uh, Abyssal Crown is 25%, right? So basically, or 24%, right? You know, one or give or take or one. Basically, for either them for them to either get silenced or stunned after the strip, mind you, because it comes with a strip. Uh, either or for one of them to happen is a 99% chance, basically making 100. Uh, and this also kind of conforms to what I said last time when I was talking about the stun on Ravi, where it's like. If you're gonna like there's no such thing as hundred percent on your uh, on your skill like this skill it could say hundred percent right here this number hundred percent chance to inflict silence and it's still a lie because they can resist it 15% of the time right 15 um, so the thing I like about Ravi's s3 is it goes up to 85% and that's that's perfect right because you can't like Nothing can go above 85%. Everything, like, th these are all lies whenever they put, oh, it's 100% chance. Only, only if the soul burn has ignore effect resistance. That's the only time uh, ever that 100%, when you see 100% here, it's not a lie. But yeah, so like when you see something like, where is she? Her. This right here? Wait. Wait. Stunning, right? It doesn't say 100% right because it's just it's stunning, but this is a lie because you know it's supposed to say 100% chance, but you can't increase it or decrease it, so they didn't really put 100% right because it's not as a number. This is a lie because it doesn't mean anything because you can't soul burn this to ignore effect resistance, so it's only 85% chance of stunning. So I don't know why I didn't why they don't just make they should really just make every 85% chance every 100% chance thing down to 85% chance. It's all just like it's just bull crap. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's just dumb. It's like it's such irritation. Um, what's a good? Who has like a hundred percent chance thing? Uh, he has soul. He has a uh, effect resist ignore. So that's not. No, that has a curse, and that that also soul burns. Anyway, but yeah. Um, the idea that anything is hundred percent is kind of dumb in this game. Like nothing. Nothing does anything like that, um, just because of how um, effect resistance works in this game. It's just, just dumb. I actually was thinking about building a regular Roman. I actually have regular Roman uh, Max imprinted. He's le he's level five. Uh, he's just sitting there though. Uh, he dispels all buffs uh, and gives himself fifty percent. Okay. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting, right? Because ideally, so turn one, you if they have buffs, it's funny because he actually seems better than um what, what's her name? Landy is because Landy is like oh if they have buffs like hit them hard, but like nobody runs buffs that aren't like like shields, defense barrier, and that's about it. I mean you know there's attack buffs and all that stuff and that's fine. Uh, but shields and defense barrier are like some of the two most things that just shut down Landy. It's like, oh, you know, are you going to punish me for having buffs up? But it's like, oh, let me just kind of bring uh, ML Crown and then just have barriers or MLCC, right? And then all your damage is basically nullified. Uh, but it's funny here is because uh, this dispels all buffs, you know, 80% chance. And again, it's pretend it's a, it's a fake 100% chance. Um... Yeah, so if they're buffed, he boosts up 80%. Basically, his turn is up next. If you have Necro and Undyne, which I don't think you should run, probably just run a Bissel run Crown on anybody that strips like this. Uh, but there you go. So, you know, you could, if you had Necro and Undyne, that's 100% chance, or 100% uh, CR boost, right? Which basically means then you can do this. So turn one, you do this. You build them like Broman, right? And you give them all the effect resistance. So turn one, you do this. Uh, and then maybe get two poisons, right? Uh, it, yeah, and then you're at 100%. So it's your turn again. You basically got a free turn. Uh, attacks all enemies with all enemies, all enemies with a magic circle, with a 50% chance each to just decrease uh, ER 15% uh, four times. So that's 
five. That's twenty percent four times. So it's a total of eighty percent. But on average, you're gonna get forty percent. Um, so basically, drop everybody by forty percent after you've uh, stripped them, uh, and then you know two poisons. Though the poisons are kind of worthless, uh, if I'm totally honest with you. The, but the important thing, what is this? Effectiveness. Yeah. The important thing is that this is two times the chance to. Oh no. Yeah. I mean, if you're running abyssal, right? Um, eighty percent, and then. You know, you go forward a little bit, you know, your turn's basically almost here, and then you, you take your turn. Now that they're all stripped, you hit them with this. Uh, you, you know, a maximum of 80% chance, but a minimum. Most of the time, like, since it's four times, you're at least going to get the 20%. Um, but I think most of the time, you're probably going to get 40 or 60, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, and then if you're running, again, depending on if Abyssal Crown or you're running Necron Undyne, you boost it up another 20%. Uh, and you're just hitting people with this for a 10% reduction and 10% increase. Uh, so basically, turn one, turn two, soul burn, turn three, this again. Though this isn't totally useful, right? Because after you've stripped them once, you've gotten so much CR and you've reduced their CR so much that the strip again is not really worth anything. Um, but it could be against like a team who's like, if they're holding their strip, because they're if they're holding their buffs because they know you have a strip, uh, it could be good to bring him into that, right? Because you can threaten, if you sober in this, you can threaten the strip again. Uh, so you can strip the turn one and just actually strip everything. Uh, and then do this, and then still have this like off cooldown and ready to go in case they decide to put buffs up again. Um, and then, you know, this is going to be annoying to people because you're dropping them by 10 and then you're boosting yourself 10. It's like, <laughs> who wouldn't hate that? Um, but yeah, while I, I find like Broman, regular Roman just looks irritating. Uh, but he doesn't look infuriating. The same, he, He's not as infuriating as Benevolent Roman. Like, this guy... I don't know who came up with this guy. But I'm glad, like... I'm glad his passive is useless. Because, like, imagine another... Like, an S2 here or an actual passive that does anything. Like, yeah, basically just does anything more than nothing. Like, this would be, like, a huge pain. Oh, but yeah. So, fortunately, we have this. Um, the Soul Burn into Extra Turn is all right, right? Because... You, you strip, and then you have a 75% chance to silence, but like I said, if you're running um, the Necronundine, or uh, Abyssal Crown, you're basically at 100% to either stun or silence. Um, then down here, you've got the Mana Arrow, so you either you take your next turn, and then you hit this. Um, yeah, then you hit this, and they're silenced. Uh, now that, you know, actually, funnily enough, now that I think about it, I think maybe... Um, I should probably be bringing SSB into him. Uh, but against that last team where I lost, right, SSB would be kind of detrimental because I could probably accidentally kill the, um, what's his name? The A Vildred, uh, and then cause me more trouble uh, in the long run. But uh, it'd be perfect for taking out that S10A and him in that, in that order. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the fact that she's silenced doesn't mean anything because it's her S2 that does, like, no one uses SSB for anything that isn't her S2. Which is kind of funny, right? Because you have some units that are like entirely made by their S2, and then some units that are like good in spite of their S2. You can just like chop it off and not worry about it. Uh, but anyway, this, this video's gone long enough now. Um, just kind of thinking about Broman and how much <laughs> I want a Broman. Uh, it's pretty funny though. Like out of all the out of all the four stars, let's go look here. Elements, no. Grade. Oh, you can't do more than one grade at a time, huh? Uh, how do I? What the? F oh well, uh, this seems kind of weird. Well, out of all the moonlight heroes, I guess here they are. Like some of the the main. Let's see, past or future? Are they mixed up together? Yeah. Uh, I'm missing all like the competitive ones, the ones you, you see that are like really broken. Like him, he's he's dumb. Like people like to think he's really like overpowered or like oh whatever. It's just not that good. Like he's all right. He's he's kind of a nuisance more than anything. He's not like dumb. Uh, he he memes, but you know it's not that good. Uh, but yeah, like like Tempest Surin and Broman, are, like the two that just came out of nowhere, like. Her, she came out, and then nobody really thought about her, and then they built her, and they were like, oh, yeah, she's actually pretty dumb. Uh, and then Broman was, like, kind of dumb, but people didn't really want to build him, and he got buffs, and then it, the people were like, oh, let me try him out, and then, you know, they realized how broken he was. 
Uh, but like, yeah, out of all the the four stars I'm missing that are competitive right now, uh, it would be the two most, um, the two strongest, right? Because uh, Singelica is not that competitive. She's just here because she's good at um, Guild Wars and good at like PVE versions of PVP, so like Arena and all that stuff. Uh, but she's not really that good in in regular uh, Arena or regular uh, RTA or anything like that, where uh, other people are involved because she just dies and doesn't do anything. Now, of course, she lasts a while, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Crimson Armin hasn't been meta relevant since like forever. Uh, he, who cares? Uh, she kind of falls off because you have uh, S10A, so it's like whatever. Um, Shooting Star Katie's, no one really uses her. Uh, Troublemaker Crozet, again, eh, decently useful. The the main meta four star unit that I have right now is uh, G Perg, and it's going to be uh, her. But I don't have the I don't have the gear. I don't have the other units to make her good, which is basically Athletica. Um, but I mean, she can be good. Um, I just don't like. I don't want to invest the gear into her because I don't have Molas into her for one, and uh, don't really. I don't really cleave a lot. So like, she kind of she's good with a cleave team for like single target sniping. Um, but yeah, like none of these other ones are very relevant. Like. Her, she's good for cleaving, but that's about it, and nobody really cares, and, and no one's really using uh, Crescent Moon Rin. Um, he's good for sniping or one-shotting, but then, you know, so is Euphine. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to build him up and have him ready to go. And then obviously the, the most meta four-star unit of all time is going to be Oxlots. Um, but in terms of, like, super high-tier stuff that's, like, getting broken up there, it's like, damn it. Uh, somehow I'm missing Roman, and I'm somehow missing Tempest Surin. Um That's all right. I think they'll I'll get them eventually. Uh, Tempest Siren, I'm going to have to, like, boost in Molagora, like, to, to max it, uh, immediately. Um, just because I need her on my defense team. Like, I'm tired of losing to people who cleave. Uh, and you can basically, it's like, you can't really cleave Tempest Siren. Because um, as soon as you take your turn, like a first person, right? Oh, no, yeah, she could probably be cleaved, right? So... Yeah, I mean, especially Jay Kisei, right? So, like, someone just brings in Jay Kisei, which is the main cleaver. You're going to AoE, and then hit her, and then AoE again, and then she'll die. <laughs> um, I think she'll be really good, though, like, for anti-cleaving. She'll be really good if you pair her up with, uh, what's his name? Let's see. Yeah, so, well, actually, it's not that bad, because they'll cleave, and then they'll put her down to 50%, right, because she can go lower. And then um, she'll boost up like she'll boost up what uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So thirty percent. Um, and that's not including like if you're running G perg on your defense team, that's another eighteen percent. So basically fifty percent of a CR bar. And she's gonna be fast, so she's not gonna be anywhere near the fifty percent. She's probably gonna be at the eighty percent or something like that. Um, so then she'll take a turn, cleave their whole team. And maybe kill somebody, and then you have a bunch of other units that can go after that. Um, so that's something to consider. Hopefully, you have enough life steal on her that she boosts herself above the threshold again. Um, well, which is not that hard because basically anything will boost you up the threshold on the first time. The second time, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's something to consider. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, I really need a Tempest Siren. Um, she's really good these days. Yeah, this S1 here is kind of dumb. Yeah, so, you know, I recommend um, building Tempest Surin and Broman if you have them. Broman, Tempest Surin is a little bit easier. She still has high gear requirement because you need a lot of damage and a lot of speed. Uh, but you can kind of avoid health and defense um, on her, which is decent. Um, and then, yeah, so... You can kind of avoid health and, and what's it called on her. And then you want a lifesteal set. Uh, the lifesteal set from the Abyss isn't good on her because it all has HP percentage on it. And especially my gear rolled like all into HP. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of how mine went. Uh, which is why it's on SSB because it's all HP and it's all attack percentage. Uh, but you really want like, you know, HP or you want uh, attack, speed, and crit damage on her. Uh, of course, try to get as much crit chance as possible. But... Those are her three main stats. Basically speed, so she's fast enough to take to, to cut in and take turns. Uh, and then attack and crit damage go together because you just need a lot of damage to actually make an impact when you do take turns. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, 
going a bit long here, just ranting about uh, some units that I wish I had. Uh, wishful thinking there. Um, but yeah, so you know, good luck out there. Like I said uh, about Crow, uh, probably not gonna make a video on him, um, just because, like I said, Crow has been out for so long that he should be self-evident. You either need him, you either you you've either seen that you need him or you don't, and you know that's kind of the end of it. So, um, kind of walking around trying to figure out whether you want Crow or not is is a little you know don't worry about it. Like if you feel, if you're questioning it, then maybe just don't get him. Um, but if you really feel like you need to get him, don't don't worry about it. Like go get him, right? Um, he'll, he'll, you'll, you'll never, you know, be wrong with a crowd. Just know that every time you summon for a unit that's already been out, it's like, it's a risk, right? There could be something on the horizon that comes out even better. Especially like if you don't care about Everlyn, um, then there you go. You're, you're solid to go. So I think Everlyn's going to be pretty interesting because he reminds me of like a, of a, uh, what's his name? Of like a discount, like poor people, uh, Riolu. Uh, I think you want to build him fast, high damage, uh, you know, as fast as possible, high damage as possible, and, um, and not worry about health. Like, ignore his health and try to pair him up with either, like, a, an Aureus wielder or what I think uh, would be good with him. And I'll probably, I might make a video on him, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Um, but with a lot of health or, or with low health, uh, with an Aureus user and a shield, someone who gives them shields all the time, so maybe, like, um that new artifact or just uh you know fallen cc in general um or which i think is the best going to be the best use uh the best uh partner for him is going to be uh t crozet here um yeah he's going to be pretty insane with this guy because let's go find him here for a second here like turn one he does like all kinds of stuff he gives himself a barrier uh, the the counterattack thing, and does all kinds of damage, right? Uh, and then turn two, he gives himself immunity, and then uh, turn one, he's constantly um, defense breaking people. Hopefully, on crit chance is good. Uh, let's go preview stats. There you go, twenty three plus the sixteen is thirty nine, so it's basically forty percent for free. Um, but yeah, like the, well, I guess in that case, don't worry about the uh, the barrier or uh, the Bastion of Perlusia or something like that. You know, it's you know just run Adam and Shield. Um, but yeah, like, I think he'd be, he'll be really strong. Because um, with Crozet, you're basically boosting his HP, like, pretty hardcore. So you can keep his HP low. Uh, and then, like, if you have gear that doesn't have HP but has defense percentage, like, run that instead, right? Um, keep his... Like, if you want more survivability on him, give him more defense than, you know, you focusing on HP. Uh, that way you're doing maximum damage, increasing your survivability, and then keeping your crows at, you know, decently survivable. Uh, and you want as much speed and damage as you can on him because you need to make them not ignore him, right? Because if he, if, he, if he doesn't do enough damage, they're just going to let him, like, they're just going to sit there and be like, okay, well, I won't attack him while his, um, his counterattack buff is up, and then, you know, whatever. But you really need to, like, force people into, like, responding to him, which... Uh, the way you do that is with speed and attack, uh, speed and damage, um, and, and with Crozet, like, could you imagine? So, turn one, well, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I was gonna think. So with turn one, you've got uh, this active. So turn one, he goes first. Maybe you're like 240, 200, 250 speed or something like that. Uh, he does his S three, uh, and then he he he's, he goes that later. Uh, then Crozet comes in, who's like 220 maybe, 220 speed. He S3s him, gives him a defense barrier, which stacks with all the defense you've been stacking. Um, and the crit chance reduction, for one, right? Then uh, he boosts him up by 40%, so his turn is almost up um, again, right? So then he does this, gives himself almost, you know, not almost, but like, you know, a bunch more CR with him, and then he gives himself immunity. And then he's running around hitting people for defense breaks. So you, you kind of just like can't ignore him almost. And then you got to run. It'd probably be best to run somebody like a, um, what's, what's her name? Alencia to strip so that his defense breaks go through. Um, but yeah, so that, that sounds like really, really strong to me. Uh, the other one that you might want to run on Crozet would be the uh, S2 one that increases his counterattack chance. Because uh, like I said, they're going to want to focus him. So even like they, they might ignore him because he'll lose one turn on this. Because this is two turns only, right? Yeah, for two turns. 
So if you if you do what I said, where it's like you make him really fast, so he takes first turn, and then um, uh, trousers uh, CR boosts him, and then he takes another turn. You lost one turn of of counter attack, and then they're just gonna like wait till this one turn comes off. He'll hit somebody with the S one. Um, yeah, he'll hit somebody with the S one, and then they'll hit him again, and then they'll hit him while that's off. But like if you run the the counter attack thing on trousers, it'll make it even harder to like really get in and deal with him. Because, uh, you know, Trazor's just going to sit there and, like, fight you constantly, um, protecting him, right? Uh, the heal one is also decent, but I think maybe, you know, just running a healer with him would be just as efficient. Um, yeah, so that's that. Like I said, um, this video's already getting long and I'm getting kind of rambly again. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm probably going to have an update video soon. Uh, as of recording this, I haven't really uploaded anything. Um, this will probably be uploaded in bulk with, like, a bunch of other uploads from this week. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of uh, what that is. But yeah, I'll have an update video and talking about why that is and, and maybe what's what's up with this channel going forward uh, soon. So look forward to that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys uh, when I see you.